This is a curious domain, home to an exiled resistance movement, the People's Mujahideen of Iran. Supporters see them as an Iranian government in waiting, but for detractors led by the regime in Tehran, this enclave in rural Albania is the headquarters of a secretive terrorist cult. Half an hour from Tirana, the Albanian capital, some 2,800 activists live in the camp, as they call it. But this is a misnomer for the mini metropolis filled with monuments to revolutionary heroes such as the group's leader, Mariam Rajavi. I and a Sunday Times team are the first British journalists to be allowed in. Hi, Shaheen. Yeah, it's Matthew Campbell. We're about to set off. Is everything still okay for today? Yeah, well, we're looking forward to seeing you. This place was actually built uh, from late 2017, almost to the early 2019, particularly inside Iran. Young people that see you can stand up to the Ayatollahs no matter what. These are names of some of those who have fallen in Iran for freedom. Do you know how many names are on these walls? In the last 40 years, literally, some 100,000 activists of the People's Mujahideen have been executed in Iran. And are there still executions going on now? Very much so, very much so. And I think actually the reason Khamenei was compelled to install Raisi as the president is the fact that they know there's more and more dissent brewing in Iran. And the only possible answer from Khamenei was to bring on the butcher, the executioner to power. The dawn of freedom is looming on the horizon for Iran. The people who live here have one thing in common. Most have experienced appalling violence, the torture and execution of loved ones at the hands of the regime. In one building the size of a shopping mall is a museum dedicated to the horror, the execution of 30,000 political prisoners in 1988, the so-called massacre, the militants blame on Ebrahim Raisi, the president of Iran. Six members of my family were executed by the Iranian regime, I mean the Mullah's regime. Killed my father, my mother, my 16 years old brother, along with 50 other people in one day. They uh, tortured my brother Javad to death when he was in Evin prison. It's a notorious prison in Tehran. And also my sister and my brother-in-law, we do not have a photo of him, but they both were shot death when they were walking on the street of Tehran. And my uncle was very sad. And I suddenly asked him that, uh, did they take, uh, did they execute my parents? And <laughs> and he said yes. And in that time, I never cried, and I decided not to cry. We do not want the people who did all these atrocities be happy that we are unhappy. We were given a carefully staged tour designed to show normal life in the camp. But we were never allowed to stray far from limpet like minders. The camp's leaders allowed us to interview hand picked militants. All have sacrificed family life for the cause, taking a vow of celibacy until their country is freed. What's your name? My name's Hajar. Hajar? My name's Hijrat. It's a very Hijrat. similar name. <laughs> From 2017, I think, when we built here, actually. Yeah, it, it's not an easy life, of course, but we have chosen this to bring freedom to our people, to, you know, to, have a, to bring a nice life for them. In your movement, you're not allowed to have family life, boyfriends, husbands, children. How much of a sacrifice is this for you? 
we are ready to the, to you know to sacrifice every, everything, and it's it's just one of one of it, you know. And if you if you change your mind, you're free to go elsewhere. Yes. Is that right? Yes. That's yeah. Good. Of course. <laughs> because you know you can't you know make someone to do you know to just resist. You know you can't make someone to do anything, but you can make someone to to resist. You know. We are shown what may be the engine room of a social media campaign to win hearts and minds in the homeland. Uh, they are uh, very near to us because we send their voice to the internet, to the world. Yes. That's, we so are, you they pass watch. on the videos and the messages, exactly. you disseminate them to a wider audience. Yes, exactly. In Tirana, we meet a group of self-styled defectors from the camp who describe it as a prison and complain of being treated like slaves. The Mujahideen, however, says the defector's spokesman was expelled from the camp as a suspected regime infiltrator and is being financed by Tehran. If you want to find the uh, exact image of the Mujahideen, just uh, you need to read the animals farm. Enough. All, no prison very worse than prison because in prison your family can come every week or every month to see you but in the organization no uh, a small notebook in our pocket every moment we should register or uh, sexual moment uh, in this uh, a small notebook and every night after uh, dinner uh, we had a decision uh, criticized decision and every person should stand up in front of the commander and another person and read what happens sexual uh, moment in his mind so if you but if you leave they will pay you if you if you no. if you promise not to talk about the organization is that right if you tell anything about the what happened in the past in Iraq or in the organization, we cut your salary. And all of the person who sit in front of you, they didn't accept. The climax of our two-day visit is a rare audience with the leader who has flown in from Paris to host an annual summit. Broadcast from the camp, the event is being held virtually this year, not just because of the pandemic, an Iranian diplomat has just been sentenced to 20 years in prison for plotting to blow up a previous gathering in 2018. Good evening, Mrs. Rajavi. How do you hope to overthrow this, this regime? اعضای کانون های شورش و اعضای کانون های مقاومت در سر تا سر ایران حاضرند اونا کسانی هستند که جونشون دم دستشون کف دستشون گذاشتن در هر روز هر جا حاضرند و شما میدونین برای نوشتن یک شعار علیه در واقع رژیم برای پخش یک اطلاعی علیه این رژیم اونا رو زندان میکنن زندان های طولانی مدت حتی اگر روی آرا و عقایدشون پافشاری کنن اونا رو اعدام میکنن بنابراین فکر میکنم که یک شبکه گسترده در داخل وجود داره این ترجمه کنده بعد شبکه How do you respond to, to the, the claims that are made against your movement? در مورد شیطان سازی هم من یک جمله به شما بگم رژیم ملا تلاش کرد که اول فیزیکی مجاهد مقاومت از بین ببره وقتی نتونست یک در واقع کارزار شیطان سازی رو علیه شروع کرد و این هم باز از در واقع اهرم های دیکتاتور هاست خوشبختانه ما تا حالا بسیاری از اونا رو خونسا کردیم از جمله لیست تروریستی رو ولی این هم یک گوشه ای از جنگ ما با رژیم a lost tribe awaiting deliverance the militants long to overthrow the Islamic fundamentalist theocracy in Tehran. But how much of a threat can they pose to the regime from their Albanian refuge? The Iranian government seems to think of them as a danger. Local police have foiled several attempts to attack the camp. The paranoia this has bred in the militants is clear to see. <laughs> 